So the first important topic is the digital electronics. So most of my preparation for digital electronics was done from this playlist. So it is a crash course on digital electronics by Shankar sir. You can see it in Creatrix channel. So I prepared almost entire digital electronics from this. So it is a it takes a lot some time, but it's a good place to start with digital electronics. So I started it here, and uh, I also referred to digital design by Maurice Mano for practice. It is suggested to read the first six chapters, which are most important. So you can find a book online. You can download the PDF and you can read it. And uh, I highly recommend to complete all the examples and exercise problems which are in the back side of the Morris Manor book. For uh, solutions, you can search online. I recommend to complete all the example and exercise problems. It will help you to gain a lot of conceptual clarity in uh, different topics in digital electronics. Now let's discuss some important topics in digital electronics. So the emphasis is on the basics and also on the fundamentals. So Strong basics and fundamentals will help you a lot during the interview and also during the online test. So first after as a number system, you have to start with this and also you focus on the conversions from one number system to other number system, binary to decimal, decimal to octal to hexa. So you focus on the number systems and also focus on Boolean algebra. It is also important. Focus on reducing and uh, Boolean rules. Next one is the logic gates. Look into an universal gates and uh, universal gates are NAND and or implicit and uh, one more gate is there and uh, look into the functions of XOR and X naught. And also you see how to create various grades from, gates from transistor and uh, focus on digital arithmetic like adding to binary numbers, subtracting to binary numbers, so like that. And next is uh, K-maps and minimization. In prime, look at prime implicants, essential prime implicants under K-map. Also see how to minimize them using, minimize the Boolean function using K-maps. And uh, also look into how to implement different functions with minimum number of NAND and NOR gates. Next one is an important one, which is the combinational circuits. Focus on adders, subtractors, multipliers, comparators, etc. here. And uh, next we have MUX, DMUX, encoder and decoder. MUX is the most important one. There are a lot of applications through MUX. So I focus more on the MUX. Next we have ROM, read-only memory. Focus on uh, memory encoding here. Next one is the sequential circuits. This is the most important topic in the entire digital electronic. So in this we have latches, flip-flops, registers, counters. So focus on each of these. Next conversion of flip-flops from one, one to other. And uh, counters starting with uh, different look at various problems in the counters. So next we have finite state machines, melee and more. Look into the state table deduction and a sequence deduction detector. Focus on these two. Uh, you might get inter questions in interview on this. Next we have logic families, PMOS, NMOS, CMOS. Have a basic understanding of all three and uh, see how many transistors are used in each of these families. Next focus on converters, data converters, analog to digital and digital to analog. So this will also be helpful. Next uh, focus on semiconductor memories, uh, SRAM, DRAM, and uh, ROM how it works. Static timing analysis is also most important in digital electronic. So it is, you might get questions in interviews on this. So regarding the setup and hold times and the basics in the static timing analysis. So this is also very important. So the emphasis is again on the basics and also on the fundamentals. Focus on these. Coming to the resources, like I said, I refer to the YouTube playlist on digital electronics, crash course on digital electronics by Shankar sir on Creatrix YouTube channel. So for practice, I solved all the MCQs on in IndiaBix website. And also I solved all the MCQs and gate PYQs. So I suggest you to do this first before any bigs. This is the gate questions um, contain standard examples. So this will help a lot to get a concept of clarity on the different topics in digital. And uh, after you complete this two, you can search online for more questions. You can also try special problems in various platforms like an academy and all. So after you, these two are the mandatory. After that, if you have time, you can do other resources also. So these are the top some resources for quick concepts you can refer to geeks for geeks website and uh, for problems you can as i said you can refer to india bigs as uh, try to solve all the different kinds of models in india bigs after you solve some models you'll see the pattern is repeating and you'll be able to solve all the almost all other problem and uh, also solve some mock type problems here at india bigs so you have all the questions from all the topics at one place and uh, you know you practice all the sections here next uh, like i said gate pyqs for ec triple e and cs Computer science also, you have digital electronics there. So you, if you have time, first complete ECE, then go to EEEE and CSE sections. And uh, like I said, digital focus on this, this memory representation, digital logic, microprocessor and computer architecture. This is also an important topic here. And uh, microprocessor, for problems on microprocessor, again, you refer to Inabix. I refer to Inabix there. So basic questions will be asked here. And uh, again, if you have time, search online for any other platform to practice uh, different digital questions. 